Hello peoples. It's Professor George Lees, who's had a very, very bad uh, heavenly sense of weekend. Yeah, I've had a very, very good weekend. I've not done anything wrong in the whole of my life. Uh, what I've done this weekend is to publish the facts about Donald Trump's war crimes, yeah, involving companies called Blackwater and Halliburton in Iraq uh, and all of that is covered by <laughs> the fact that they are child company disclosures from the Little Sis website which is the Rothschild Red Disclosures about the war crimes in the recent conflicts in the Holy Lands. Yeah, I've tried to tweak uh, Rothschild's conscience on all of the recent issues which include all of the privatization of everything that was Britain's and the British public's assets yet yeah, as recently as the 1970s. All of it a goner, all of it sold to private European interests and American mobsters like uh, Donald Trump. Yeah, his dad's middle name is Donald uh, is Fred Jesus Trump and all of them go back into the German lineages that are crooked since Charlemagne and the Holy Roman Empire. Okay, so to this morning, to tweak their consciences, I've been an activist now since I came home from New Zealand in December 2009. Okay, that's home to Scotland, yeah, where all the treason is and where I get all of my videos crashed because I exposed their massive financial frauds. Okay, so there's no music this time. The last time, yeah, on the weekend, to cover Donald's war crimes, my videos that I made have been totally muted from start to finish. I cannot even play the soundtrack in my own home where I created the video. That's the first time that's ever happened, including the Bill Clinton Foundation scam, because with that one, I can show it to my surveillance audience in my own living room, in inverted commas. But with this one, it's totally muted from start to finish because of the magnitude of Condoleezza Rice, uh, all of the foreign secretaries since Dick Cheney was George W. Bush's man, yeah? all of the terror that they created in their own homeland to demonize all of the Islamic world and to take us into those great conflicts. Yeah, immediately after the Genoa summit. Yeah, that's the God and Noah jokes. Yeah, and when I used the same music on the Easter weekend religious frauds, they left it alone. I was allowed to publish all of those videos without even uh, the videos being closed down in certain countries. Yeah, when you get to the current officials like Donald Trump and Hillary, running for office with genocide on their transcript then it's a very serious and heavy thing and my innocent neighbours are people called Innes Care they are the feudal landlords and that is the Ineos joke that they are Jesus Care I saw him yesterday he grunted at me and as I tried to get them all a conscience this morning Facebook have shut down my page <laughs> Be sure <coughs> let me show you the simple message I was sending via Facebook to the world's people. Yeah? And Facebook is run, as you now know, by Zuckerberg and the CIA. Okay? And there is the thing that I was gonna that I was beginning to put in the email addresses. That is David Cameron's constituency office. That's the office at Whitney Conservatives as as soon as I uploaded that and put it into the long mail about the issues of the definition of complicity in crime which is immediately above okay so this I'm halfway through the post let me show you at the bottom of the post the response that the CIA were obliged to give me okay unable to post comment with the Rothschild's yellow triangle <laughs> for the Illuminati yeah and all of it is about all of the scams I've reported since 
2010 to the Scottish Government and there is on YouTube the list of names that I was going to use as the code words because all of these people get all of my mails through all of that time oh they've oh let me see what my uh, drafts box holds okay so I was going to put five or six code words in okay there is no subject for that yet it was done at 10.21 this morning and there I'm now going to show you who I was going to use as the code, code words for five years of the world's deepest and darkest war criminal secrets yeah, yeah let me just show you what they are okay so that's the office at Whitney Conservatives Okay, that's the English government led by Cameron in the coalition at that time through most of my time in lobbying with all of the director numbers I've sent them. That is First Minister then Alex Salomon at Rothschild. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and that is the head of the Scottish government. But that now goes to the bitch that is uh, Sturgeon. Okay, and there's my sign off. I have nothing to hide. Yeah, that's my website. That's what I do. All of them have rendered me jobless yeah, and taken my audience down so that I become a canary singing in my own living room. Yeah, and when they are able to shield war crimes like I reported on the weekend using tactics like this and all of the intel. Uh, experts that now lead the world's universities and now steal from their own students. It is absolutely massive. £70,000 for the honours degree that me and Salmond and Cameron got for nothing. So let me just show you the other three addresses that I wanted to show. They're very reluctant to show that. <laughs> okay, that's Cabinet Secretary for justice at scotland.gsi.government.uk that is the EU private secretary for the man Barroso that because of the weight of my campaign against him the revelations that he trained under Henry Kissinger at Georgetown University to steal from the whole of Europe yeah she is multilingual the name Pia is a joke about the Pizzo family that wrote the Bible and all of it is a massive mafia operation and the most decent people in my region are the Dukes and Duchesses of Roxburgh they're really decent people they're loved by many of the constituents or the people that are their feudal servants yeah and their factor their administrator is a man called Roddy E Jackson he's been on my mailing list for all of the time and I've got all of his receipts of the messages that I got that I sent to all of the world yet yeah, on every continent my messages have gone eh, and that is the Duke of Roxburgh and today tragically I found that the same Duke of Roxburgh so they refused to engage they, he grunted at me at the race meeting yesterday yeah and what you've got here is a quick search that I did this morning to confirm that Guy in his care in Scotland is actually running energy scams out of Floors Castle and Floors translates as the word Piso which is the massive biblical fraud and that is his massive pile and I keep showing you all of the time in world history's story Guy Innes Kerr and his current wife are the most innocent people in that whole of that global history yeah, and I have great faith in him for his decency and his honesty okay <laughs> uh, and he gets the most favourable weather patterns of anybody in the aristocracy in the UK <laughs> okay so uh, Roddy E. Jackson is his factor he tried to boot me off the river Tevia which is the massive fraud about Queen Victoria's lineage yeah uh, when I first returned from New Zealand 
yeah or when when I returned to fish on a holiday trip yeah and I caught loads of fish that week <laughs> now they're catching virtually nothing uh, and nobody understands the power of God but I believe that his boss now does because he has a throat cancer uh, and he's been kept alive by the most efficient private medics in the whole world okay uh, and that's why I know that I can hit on his conscience but he only grunted yesterday and his wife cast their eyes down I don't know why they are sh ashamed of what they're doing but this might give you a clue <laughs> company officers with names matching guy in his care okay all of them have closed because he knows now that I've got access to this website Guy David Inniscare, director. Yeah, that may not be him, but this one is the telling story. That it, oh, did you see that? Didn't touch a button. Yeah, so he's running a company called Floors Energy. Yeah, did you see that? that? So this is the country that we now live in. This is the freedom and the democracy that we are now persecuted by as ordinary people. Uh, and when you tell the truth, they're incapable of living with themselves. So Guy in his care is 20, one of 28 officers. It may not be the same one. I don't know whether or not he's got David in his regular deals. Yeah, but I've got different director listings for him on the British company check. This is the global company check. Okay, they're based in the United Kingdom, in Milton fucking Keynes. Yeah, where the Open University is. Yeah, and that is where the Buckingham University is, which is run by the world's top 50 richest people. Yeah, it was spawned by Mrs. Thatcher, and that's the University of Buckingham. Yeah, it's in Rothschild buildings, and it is just a massive series of frauds. So Guy David Inniscare, sadly, is a golf course manager, and we know that because he's got an elite golf course here used to be the fishery that belonged to my local club now totally dismembered and the only reason that we've got any fishing at all is that they cannot build a road up the side of the river because all of the bastards are too lazy to walk to the place <laughs> right then so let me show you what this man who I've always respected when I met him in London I, shook his, I tried to approach him and converse with him like I did yesterday uh, he granted yesterday in London he told me to bugger off because he thought I was a press man yeah that was at the birth of his first baby with his second wife after his innocent first wife had been shafted out of the family home and she's not allowed to visit <laughs> okay I don't know whether she plays golf <laughs> okay so do you get it they're running the golf management and see how many inactive companies he's got registered I don't know how many golf courses he owns across the UK but the one that he owns is in the Teviot Valley which is the world's deepest secret because of Queen Victoria's loins yeah and I'm the only innocent in that story and there's the only directorate that he has the gall to keep open after I start exposing them all yeah it's his mother-in-law that got the junkets in World War II to Palestine just before his neighbours, the Balthers, who have a son called Roddy too, uh, and my conspiracy theory that Roddy, the Balfour boy, was actually the factor for the Duke of Roxburgh, was scotched and burnt to the ground by the Essex girls on the weekend that run the guns into his community. <laughs> Okay, Guy David Inniscare, Director, Floors Energy Limited. If it is you, Guy Inniscare, 10th Duke of Roxburgh, the decent man that I know, and I, I do not love because of your reputation in that sector, yeah, but what we've got here is someone that is prepared to pretend that he is an energy magnet in rural Scotland, yeah, and that is a massive, and he's been registered in that, since I think that says 2008 the year before my lobbying on the massive frauds that has the whole world impoverished was revealed okay so floors energy limited 
yeah, they will be telling a story on their brochures that you get the energy from the cow or the horse shit, yeah, or some such. Yeah, it's massive, and all of that is typical of all of the people we now have on the court of the Bank of England. Every one of them is a false products, yet yeah, non-existent products, uh, business magnet that is a billionaire. And thank you to all of the people at the point of points in the races yesterday for not putting a knife in my back. Some of you are absolutely charming and so in insightful. It's incredible. <laughs> okay, every other one has been closed. Hillingdon Limited, United Kingdom. Uh, where else? Addresses, addresses, addresses. No, no addresses, no <laughs> street addresses. Okay, Guy David Innes Kerr, Duke of Roxburgh, openly declared, Floors Stud Company. Okay, so we've gone from the unknown quantity to confirmation that this is the 10th Duke of Roxburgh, son of Bobo, who tried to have his first wife locked up in the attic in Floors Castle, which means Piso, which is the bubble, that which is the Bible fraud. Okay rubberneck enterprises not sure what that joke is round desks limited yeah none of these were on a Anne Franklin hotel investments with Donald Trump <laughs> okay floors stud company yeah the horse racing sector is ever so decent I admire them all and I try and talk to them all openly all of the time but they get guilt for rather obvious reasons now, okay? Guy David Innes Kerr, my local landlord, yeah, who's blocking all of my videos with the consent of the fraudulent Scottish police, which is the word polis, which has the word piso in it. Yeah, there is no law enforcement. My bans on getting drunk the night that my innocent divorce case dropped through my letterbox, yeah? I've been banned by the pub where that incident took place. The whole pub was fighting that night. I was the only person that was convicted. Scotland were beaten 50 nil by Wales, which is where, secretly, his second wife came from. And she's in the Williams elites. Yeah, and that is this man who's shutting all of my videos down now, yeah, and grunts at me on the race course. He's, he's running a company called Quintus Television Limited. Would you, Quintus, would you know what it is like to be enslaved? Yeah, the dream that was Rome. Yeah, and every one of us is enslaved by feet bastards, yeah, who have been prepared to talk to about their innocence and their capacity to be really productive employers. Several times now I've tried to arrange meetings, I've gone physically to their doorstep, I've talked to the estate office and pleaded with them for a meeting. They will not give me one. Okay, and this is what happened on Facebook this morning. So for five years he's on my lobbying list and that man Roddy confirmed every receipt of every mail I told him about the genocides in Iraq, about the genocides in Afghanistan, and I did not know then about Donald Trump being on the board of the Chamber of Commerce for Azhar, Azerbaijan. Yet yeah, all of the American freedom context jokes are a joke about the total enslavement of every country on our globe. So I've just noticed that this is actually proclaimed to be, and there we go, Kelso Races Limited. Guy David Innes Kerr, Duke of Roxburgh. Kelso Races Limited. <laughs> Circle Property Management Limited, United Kingdom. The Sport Entertainment and Media Group Limited. Yeah? I want to talk to the Rothschilds and all the filmmakers about making films to free the people, and Guy in his care only grunts. <laughs> the Sport Entertainment and Media Group Limited. And I talked to the parent of the commentator at the races yesterday. He was a charming man, like all of them are. 
and they've got the cheapest beer in the county and when I asked them whether it was contraband <laughs> the beautiful little petite lady behind the bar cast her eyes down and did not say any more yeah it's only a quid for a pint of beer in their community yeah for everybody else it's uh, it's I think it's 250 or thereabouts <laughs> yeah quite an amazing economic development for the rich people <laughs> right then and it's all in Rio Tinto cans <laughs> Guy David Inniscare Irvin Robertson Wines Limited oh no not the Murray linkage Guy David Inniscare Duke of Roxburgh Golf Course Management Ealing Limited Guy David Inniscare Duke of Roxburgh Rubberneck Television yeah, that's the gonzo concept that anybody on telev television tells the truth. Guy David Innes Kerr, Roxburgh, the Tweed Foundation. Oh yeah, the water quality people. You remember that story? Everything that they've taken from the ordinary common man, it used to be six miles of the TV at Valley for all of the local workmen here on their workforce and everybody that lived in the community six miles of blissful fishing they've privatized it nobody fishes anymore yeah right through until october when the salmon begin to come in yeah and last year they didn't come in at all and the floods were so great that they caught nothing okay so that's the tweed foundation with lord sanderson about them and all of the abbotsford trust thieves and freemasons that enslave all of the local people that used to get the benefits of the six mile fishery okay tweed rod proprietors of the united kingdom guy david innes care duke of roxburgh scott cable limited yeah all the intel all the connectivity issues all of the media output all of the elites have it in their hands okay Chance Holdings Limited, don't know what that is. Circle Property Trading, Maidstone Limited. Okay? And he's only left on three or four of those because they're things that he dare not give up because then the common people would have their way with them. <laughs> right then. <laughs> so, let me show you what I tried to post on Facebook this morning. So, all of them are now, because they're on my mailing list, yeah? Uh, in the early days they did not send me the message not received or the message not opened or replied to they just sent me a receipt even the factor at Roxburgh Castle right then so uh, let me show you the Facebook statement and every one of them have hyperlinks now because this is the only way that they can account for themselves they do not need nobody ever with a hyperlink apart from my mates in the fishing club ever reply to me yeah and my mates in the inland revenue and the uh, customs service yeah they're knowledgeable on uh, on uh, what's it called piracy <laughs> yeah and that's her royal majesty's customs yeah and the customs are barbaric and murderous and I've almost been the victim of that already okay so here's my Facebook post blocked by the CIA in America unable to post comment try again okay I'll take I'll just click on the side no I'd better read it before I click on the side because it will shut down at any opportunity they're given now so I was just in the process of adding the code words to all of my email recipients at the top of government in England and Scotland yeah when they announced that everything was frozen on my Facebook page my in inverted commas okay and at the top here I'll show you what I'm giving them a conscience about this morning as you can see from the post below I have become acutely aware of the meaning and implications in brackets or parentheses formerly execution when we were allowed to smack our babies so the implications of the word complicity yeah you could be executed as a plotter 
If you are aware of the plan and you do not report it, you are complicit in the crime. That's British law, it's European law, even for Barroso, trained by Kissinger in Georgetown University. Okay, an individual is complicit in a crime if he is aware of its occurrence and has the ability to report the crime with massive media companies guy in his care, but fails to do so. As such, the individual effectively allows criminals to carry out a crime despite pet potentially being banged up or executed. Okay, do you get it? That's why it's so sensitive. That's why I'm making the video now, and will they let me publish it? I could show you yesterday's on Donald Trump and the massive things that he does, but I'll show you instead the software sites that I used. I will not dare play you any music, yeah, because that is their obfuscation tool. And YouTube, yeah, further down this morning, I have presented the evidence that Nuremberg at the trials, the English speaking lord, law lord, that convened the trial was called Lawrence, another cover for Princess Anne and the killing of the black man in Woolwich. Okay, uh, so complicity, that's, there's the definition of complicity in, on Wikipedia in full. You can read it if you're allowed onto my Facebook site, which I very much doubt that you will be able to access this morning. Okay, and there's all the Donald Trump little cis crimes okay and if we go backwards we'll see that Donald is a war criminal Donald is a director on two of the four big oil companies that's Chevron and Exxon Mobil that is a massive fraud against the world's people okay uh, and let's just see if we can find a listing for Donald because uh, that video has been totally silenced. You're able to see the pictures. When I publish it, please continue to watch it, even although it's a wall of silence. It just explains, and the bits where the music is played is the bit that explains the role of Financial Services Scotland. Uh, okay, sorry, that's the Bernie Sanders sites that I looked for last night. So let's just get on with the message on Facebook and who I reach out to on a daily basis because of those hyperlink things yet none of the people ever ever respond although the politicians are obliged to and they're spending all of the country's money covering up all of their political sins using people that know nothing about their policy making yet that's just office administrators that run their Facebook page same story for mommy Noam Chomsky who used to talk to me and communicate with me on Gmail. Yeah, I've got his email address too, if you want to see it. Yeah, he confirmed for me that his Facebook page is not run by him, it's run by the government. It's got millions of visitors every day. Yeah, and he's the false socialist that now works for the billionaire, uh, Ariana Huffington. Okay, so let's now read. And the, all the hyperlinks you see have been taken down. So that one there is uh, just the confirmation that I was beginning to enter the code words office at WhitneyConservatives.com That is David Cameron's constituency office that I've been writing to since 2010. Okay? It's right next door to my brother-in-law's residence. Yeah? It's right next door to Chipping Norton where they now run the government privately out of the drinking club okay and there's I started off this morning by sending it to Guy Innes Care and that's his hyperlink but it's no longer written up in blue like it was right up to the moment that they sent me that message yeah right up to that moment in Rothschild Yellow when I mentioned that the Prime Minister's residence and my